द अपाचे अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर इज करेंटली अ कॉर्नर रेस्टोन ऑफ द इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेज ऑफेंसिव कैपेबिलिटीज स्पेशली ऑन द वेस्टर्न फ्रंट हैविंग इन्वेस्टेड बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर इन टू एक्वायरिंग दिस एडवांस पीस ऑफ मिलिट्री टेक्नोलॉजी द इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेज हैड हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर इट्स परफॉर्मेंस गिवेन इट्स प्रेस्टीज ऑफ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कोविटेड वेस्टर्न मेड वेपन सिस्टम इट्स सीयर फायर पावर एजिलिटी एंड एडवांस एवियोनिक्स मेक इट अ फोर्स टू बी रिकॉर्ड विद इन द बैटल फील्ड हाउ एवर रिसेंट इवेंट्स पार्टिकुलरली इन द अनफोरगिविंग नॉर्थर्न फ्रंट ऑफ द हिमालयज हैव रेड सीरियस क्वेश्चन अबाउट वेदर द माइथ ऑफ दिस हेलीकॉप्टर ट्रूली जस्टिफाई द मैसिव फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट while the apache has proven its effectiveness in flat and relatively lower attitude terrain its performance in the high attitude regions of the himalayas has been riddled with challenges which may be contributed to the unfortunate crash in this region in april 2024 an apache helicopter of the indian air force crash landed in the harsh high altitude environment of ladakh the incident highlighted the helicopter's significant operational limitations when deployed in extreme conditions particularly at the high altitudes of himalayan region these altitudes often exceeding 12000 feet drastically reduces the engine performance due to the thin air the less dense air creates difficulty for the turbo shaft engine of the apache making it harder to draw in the necessary amount of oxygen needed for the combustion this directly affect the engine power output reducing the overall performance of the helicopter weighing approximately 10 tons the apache is already considered a heavy helicopter and this weight poses additional challenge when operating at high altitude at sea level the apache twin engine generate more than enough power to handle its weight and maintain its speed and agility however at high altitudes where the air is thinner the engine struggles to produce enough thrust to support the helicopter mass affecting its maneuverability and overall combat effectiveness this limitation is crucial especially in the region like himalayas where the terrain requires helicopter to fly at extreme altitude to complete their mission in addition to attitude related performance issues the apache helicopter faces numerous operational challenges due to the severe and unpredictable weather conditions in the himalayas the thin air at the high altitude is not only the concern The region is notorious for its sudden and extreme temperature drops, high winds, and frequent snowstorms. These harsh weather conditions not only compromise the helicopter's flight safety but also place immense strain on its onboard electronics and systems. Prolonged exposure to freezing temperatures can degrade sensitive avionics, reducing their reliability and increasing the risk of malfunction during critical operations. Moreover the rugged and mountainous landscape of the Himalayas present additional hazards for low altitude flying which is essential for helicopter like the Apache that rely on flying close to the ground to avoid radar detection the narrow valleys steep cliffs and towering peaks of this region create a treacherous environment for pilot as they must navigate through these obstacles while maintaining low altitude flight One a small miscalculation can result in a collision or crash. Once the Apache crash landed in Ladakh at an altitude of 12,000 feet near Khardungla, one of the highest motorable passes in the world, the challenges did not end. The remoteness of the region combined with harsh weather conditions made any recovery efforts extraordinarily difficult. The high altitude terrain coupled with weight of the Apache posed a significant challenge for the Indian Air Force. The recovery of the helicopter became a complex and lengthy process, stretching the time of both personnel and equipment. One of the biggest obstacles was the impossibility of air lifting the Apache from the crash site. Even with the powerful Chinook helicopter in the IAF fleet, the combination of Apache's weight around 10 tons and the high altitude made it unfeasible for air lift. Chinook, while capable of carrying heavy loads are not designed to operate efficiently at extreme temperature when faced with heavy cargo this forced the iaf to adopt a more intricate recovery strategy disassembling the apache on the site the apache had to be carefully dismantled into over 400 individual parts this operation required a specialized personnel who trek to the remote crash site with precision tools and equipment the team had to manually disassemble the helicopter piece by piece 
ensuring that the sophisticated avionic weapon systems and structural components were carefully handled. Each part was painstakingly transported down the mountain to the nearest road that could be accessed by vehicles. The journey was treacherous, with personnel enduring harsh conditions and rough terrain to carry out this task. To recover the larger components of the helicopter, such as airframe and engine, the IAF deployed crane equipped with long steel wires. These cranes were used to carefully lower the heavier components into trucks that could transport them out of the region. This process required not only technical expertise but also physical endurance and resilience as the team worked in freezing temperature and thin air to complete the recovery mission. The Apache is not just another asset in the IAF's arsenal. It is considered a vital component in maintaining India's military presence in the strategically important Ladakh region, which remains prone to military tensions. Its ability to provide close air support, engage armored targets, and conduct reconnaissance missions makes it a crucial tool for the Indian Armed Forces. The successful recovery of the Apache showcased IAF adaptability and technical expertise, but it also highlighted the significant challenges posed by operating advanced military equipment in the extreme environments like the Himalayas. While the Apache has proven its worth on the Western Front, its limitations in high-altitude regions like the Himalayas have raised concerns about whether it is the right fit for operations in such challenging terrain. The IAF may need to explore modification to improve its high-altitude capabilities or consider alternative helicopter better suited to the unique demands of the Northern Front. In conclusion, the Apache helicopter is an impressive piece of military technology, but its deployment in the Himalayan region has exposed several vulnerabilities from engine performance issues due to the thin air to the challenges of low-altitude flying in mountainous terrain. Operating the Apache in such environments requires meticulous planning, specialized training, and innovative recovery strategy. The IAF's ability to recover the Apache from the unforgiving terrain of Ladakh underscores its commitment and capability. However, as India continues to fortify its northern border, it may be time to reevaluate whether the Apache is the best choice for the Himalayas or if alternatives are better suited to this unique condition.